Hello, guys and girls. It is I, Aaron Halo 18 here. I'm going to do a re review for a movie review on Captain America Civil War movie that I saw on May uh, 12th at 4.30 p.m. And my friend uh, Stephen Friendle uh, was there with me watching the movie and my dad uh, too and, and so was I. And I gave my friends a little review about seeing the movie and, and, and uh, I said to them that I really liked it and enjoyed it for my viewing uh, pleasure. I gave it a 10 out of 10 uh, score. All the characters were good in this movie. And the action as well. Black Panther and Spider-Man, uh, Ant-Man slash Giant-Man were in the movie and they did a good job. The story was pretty good too. And no complaints on this one, guys and girls. And, uh, I really did enjoy, uh, this, uh, movie, I guess. It's a superhero, uh, movie. It's Marvel. And, uh, Robert Terry Jr. got paid 40 million, uh, for this movie. I guess, and if it makes more money, he'll get more. I guess. He makes a lot of money than, than other... Uh, Marvel uh, actors and uh, uh, Chris Evans did a pretty good job in the movie. And all the actors did a pretty good job in the movie. And, uh, Black Panther was a badass in, in the movie, I, I guess. All, all of the characters were a badass in this movie. And uh, and uh, Stan Lee was in the movie as a FedEx uh, uh, employee, I guess. A delivery man or a FedEx. And he said Tony Stake uh, in the movie. I, I guess. And, and then Tony Stark in the movie also asked uh, Captain America to have his shield uh, back. Uh, I guess in the movie. And uh, the story was pretty good. And, and uh, one of the, the bad guys tricked everybody in the movie, uh, I guess. And Baron Zemo was in the movie, I guess. He was like a, a depressed kind of suicidal kind of villain. I mean, how it looks, that's not how he was. He had like a costume with a purple mask and a crown uh, on his head in the comics. I guess it's not really like the comics. And the villain Crossbones was in the movie as well. He was he was defeated at the beginning of the movie, uh, though. And, and, uh, Black Widow was a badass in the movie, too. I guess, like I said, everybody was. And, uh, my dad really liked the Spider-Man. Uh, Spider-Man did a good job in the movie. I know he had one uh, scene in the movie. All the superheroes were fighting each other at an airport in uh, Germany. A lot of this movie uh, took place in Eastern uh, Europe. And, uh, they went to all different locations in this movie uh, as well. And, uh, it's loosely based on the comic. And, and also, uh, Bucky Barnes got frozen in the movie uh, again. And, uh, I guess they... They can reprogram... People can reprogram his mind to kill people. And be in his house, which he is. Uh, his name is Winter Soldier, I guess. From the movie uh, Captain America Winter Soldier... I guess it was Captain America's best friend from uh, the 40s, before he became Captain America. And uh, supposedly, uh, Bucky was also his sidekick, uh, as well, uh, too. And he's got a silver arm with a Russian star uh, on it. The Russians uh, used him as an assassin for them, I guess. It was kind of, it was a little bit dark and gritty as well. And I really enjoy superhero uh, movies a lot. It was really a, a well done uh, movie and I had a lot of fun with this one. Uh, guys and girls and, and the, there's a lot of uh, cool stuff in this uh, movie as well. And all their suits were, the Spider-Man uh, suit was pretty cool. And Black Panther's suit was pretty cool. I guess uh, Black Panther's father uh, died in the movie. Uh, I guess, and they had UN meetings, and 
some of the superheroes registered for the government, and some did not. I guess in this movie they were, the Civil War happened because of, of the disastrous uh, missions they had in the previous movies before that. Uh, everything was being destroyed and stuff like that. And uh, the Secretary of State guy wanted them all arrested and Captain America and his team of Avengers are fugitives uh, now, I guess. Supposedly they're supposed to be like, they're going to be fugitives in Infinity uh, uh, War Part 1 for the third Avengers movie. And yes, the third Avengers movie is in two parts. And I saw trailers for uh, the new Alice in Wonderland uh, movie, and I also saw trailers for uh, Warcraft, and I saw a trailer for um, uh, Star Trek Beyond, and the other... Uh, and I saw a Doctor Strange Marvel uh, trailer uh, as well. They show like 10 or 11 uh, trailers before the movie starts. And yes, I saw Captain America uh, at the Irvine Spectrum. Uh, IMAX 3D, I believe. Where you had to put the 3D glasses on. I got like the... The 3D glasses were like a, a grayish black uh, color, I guess. And, uh... This movie was like uh, 2 hours and uh, 40 minutes or, or something like that. And, uh... I just wanted to do a little review about... Uh, Captain America Civil War. And it is the third Captain America movie. Supposedly, uh, Infinity War Part 1 is Chris Evans' last uh, movie for Marvel. I guess his, supposedly his contract is ending after that movie. Uh, who knows, they might renew it, I don't know. I think all these uh, characters by the superheroes should do it until they're uh, old. Uh, uh, actually, uh, they should. They should just stay those characters for a long time, for many years ago. And, uh, of course, there's going to be, 2020 is the start of uh, the Phase 4 for Marvel movies. I don't know how many phases they will have. And, uh, the Infinity Part 1 and Infinity Part 2 is the Thanos uh, storyline. I guess it's going to have the Infinity Stones in it. And the Infinity Gauntlet that Thanos wears, and he, wear, he has... The, the way he defeats the, uh, the superheroes is uh, the uh, Infinity Stones have like magical powers uh, to it that prevent the fight the the, the, the superheroes die in the Infinity War sort of like. Get me Bush there, Di? Get me Bush there? Yeah, hold on. Um, that's my father. Uh, he's working on the heart, front yard very hard. Uh, uh, here. My good father. And, uh, other way. Towards me. Uh, yeah. Uh, more. I had more. And the movie was a badass movie, I guess. Whoa! My dad needs to stop talking uh, when I'm doing my uh, review. Uh, videos, it's, it's quite rude of him to do that. Uh, I guess, and a lot of people think that my dad is funny. Uh, 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 too. Some guy said that my dad was funny in one of the videos I made. I do Funko Pop uh, videos as well. I do uh, videos on... Uh, um, I've done videos on video games. I usually do it on superheroes, uh, video games, and Christian stuff. Because I am a Christian as well. And I also do these reviews on... I, I do the score system, I guess. I really did enjoy this movie that, that much. I really did not complain about the movie. I, it was better than all the other Marvel movies I've seen so far. I guess it's, it's one of my uh, top uh, movies, Civil War is. And uh, the first Avengers movie is still my uh, favorite one. And... Uh, And also the the Dark Knight with the Joker was my favorite one as well. Those three were my favorite. Toronto top movies. 
Hopefully this move will probably reach a billion dollars. I don't know. Supposedly Black Panther is supposed to come out. Uh, I don't know next year or so, or the year after that. I I don't know when his movie comes out. Supposedly they're supposed to make a Captain Marvel uh, movie as well. I don't know when that's coming out. It's probably 2018 or something. Black Panther's probably 2018 as well. And uh. And I don't know if they'll ever make a fourth uh, Captain America or a fourth Iron Man or a fourth uh, Thor movie. But in 2020, they'll probably have the Black the Black Panther will have a sequel, and uh, Captain Marvel will have a sequel, and the Guardians of the Galaxy sequels. Uh, it comes out next year, I believe. And so does Spider Man. Those movies come out next year. And the Thor, uh, the third Thor movie comes out uh, next year as well. And uh, the new Spider-Man movie is called Spider-Man Homecoming. Don't forget the title. And, and go see this movie. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go see it. And by the way, you won't like every part of this movie. It, it was really that fun uh, to watch. I would, I, I, I would, I would see it several times I, it was that good of a movie so uh, episode 7 was my top favorite movie as well that one was pretty good uh, as well but this is mostly my Captain America Civil War review of the movie and uh, if you haven't read comic books or anything still go see the movie you don't need the, you don't have to read the comic books to, uh, to watch this movie but if, if but the Civil War story was a very good story. You should read the comic book. I have the complete uh, graphic novel collection of Civil War. I guess the Civil War story had all kinds of different uh, stories. I, the X-Men in the comics, the X-Men was part of the Civil War. And so was uh, all the villains, uh, uh, too. And uh, even the Fantastic Four was part of the Civil War story as well, and the Hulk, and Thor, and Doctor Strange, they were all part of it. Uh, but Doctor Strange didn't want anything to do with the Civil War. He wasn't on uh, Captain America's side or Iron Man's side at all. And uh, Iron Man was uh, the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. in the Civil War storyline uh, as well. And uh, I think... Uh, I like the Robert Downey Jr. version of Iron Man better than the, than the comic uh, version of the character. And uh, him and Don, che Don Cheeto are getting pretty old uh, for their worlds. Don Cheeto is starting to get uh, gray and white hair uh, now and wrinkled skin. So is Robert Downey Jr. And uh, they try to make a younger version of uh, Tony Stark uh, in the movie. But, uh, it was a computer-generated version of him. Uh, and stuff like that. I don't like when they use uh, CGI in movies. I don't know. To an extent, uh, they can do it, uh, to... They can overwhelm you, uh, with, uh, CGI sometimes. In these movies. Some of the trailers I saw were... The, yeah, the new Tim Burton, uh, Alice in Wonderland movie. It, it was all CGI in that movie as well. Star Trek Beyond had a lot of CGI as well. And Tarzan uh, was on the trailer I saw. They had a lot of CGI too. Uh, 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 just all, about all the trailers I saw were nothing but CGI in it. And, uh... But, uh, Dark Strange looked, uh, pretty good. I mean, all the Marvel movies look pretty good. They, CGI is not, not that bad in Marvel, uh, movies. Uh, in my opinion, I like the DC and Marvel uh, movies. And Batman v Superman was uh, was a pretty good movie. Not as good as Civil War, but I still enjoyed that one. Batman v Superman is not my top favorite movie, though. Uh, I've seen uh, I've seen uh, Star Wars in the theater once and twice at home. I've seen it three times already, so... I don't know, it's, it's a pretty good movie. 
Hopefully I'll be able to do movie parties one day if my dad will let me uh, do them. And uh, oh, oh, and pray for me for the weather to uh, be good all of, all of this year. So that I can go see all these uh, awesome badass movies as well. And, and I can't wait to see the Jason Bourne uh, movie later this July. And no, I did not see a trailer for uh, Jason Bourne. And a couple of days ago I saw the Assassin's Creed uh, trailer. So that movie was a pretty good movie. I kind of didn't like the rap song in that uh, trailer, I guess. If you know what Assassin's Creed is, it's it's based off the uh, video game franchise. I mean, all the video game nuts uh, and people who love that game will probably see the movie. I don't know, it's a Michael Fassbender movie. It's got a lot of It's got a lot of big actors. Uh, uh, Jeremy Irons is in, is is in this. Yeah, Jeremy Irons is in the movie. Yeah, the actors are Michael Fassbender, uh, Marin uh, Col Colard, Jeremy Irons, and Brenda Gleeson. And Michael K. Williams. I don't know who Michael uh, K. Williams is. And the director is Justin Crisell. And the producers are Gene Julian Barnett, Gerard Gillemot, Frank Marshall, Patrick Crawley, Michael Fassbender, uh, Connor Mc McCannon, Arnon McKellen, and in theaters, December 21st, 2016. Assassin's Creed has about through a revolutionary technology that unlocks his genetic memories. Colin Lynch, Michael Fassbender, experiences the adventures of his ancestor. Chagler in, in 15th century Spain, Colum discovers his, his descendant from a mysterious secret society. The assassins and amasses incredible knowledge and skills to take on the oppressive and powerful temporal organization in the present day. The Obstergal Industries is the temporal organization in this uh, mo uh, movie. Yeah, Michael and Assassin's Creed uh, stars Academy Award. Nominee Michael Fassbender, X Men: Day of the Future Past, uh, Twelve Years a Slave, and uh, Academy Award winner Marin Cotard, The Dark Knight Rises, La Vie en Ross. The film is directed by, like I said, Justin Krasnell, Snowtown, uh, Macbeth. Never heard of those movies. Uh, produced by New Regency. Uh, Ubisoft Motion Pictures. Uh, Ubisoft is the video game company that made Assassin's Creed. Uh, and now, now they have their own movie uh, uh, company. DMC Films and Kennedy slash Marshall co-financed by Rat Pack Entertainment and Alpha Pictures and distributed by 20th Century Fox. Assassin's Creed opens in theaters worldwide on December 21st, 2016. And this film is not yet uh, rated. For rating reasons, go to mpaa.org uh, comma space filmratings.com Who knows? I, I don't know I, I don't know if this is radar or not, but uh, if it's radar, I my dad won't take me to see it in the theater if it's rated R. Um, I don't know. The game was rated M, so I don't know. I don't know if this is a demographic kind of movie or an adult themed uh, movie. I have no idea. It looks like a badass movie to me. I'm really excited about it. I, I like that. 
uh, I'm always laughing at Spank. I, I say badass because it's kind of a funny word. I like that's my favorite word. I like that word. And yet, yeah, I, I have used language before. Yeah, I, I've called my dad names uh, before and stuff like that. And uh, my dad does this thing where he mimics me if I say it. He's trying to get me to stop uh, doing it. I should be more of a Christian. Please pray for me to not call my dad names anymore. And pray for me to stop lusting uh, uh, as well. And uh, pray for me to stop having all these fetishes that I have. And uh, and uh, I know I struggle with foot fetish state problems and the, the the socks thing. I don't know why I'm saying this, but. I'm a little, just pray for me for to stop doing that stuff and stop with the removing of clothes, uh, I do things too. Just pray for me to be a better Christian. And, and uh, yeah, I struggle like every other uh, guy who has struggles like this. A lot of people have struggles like that. I guess uh, this, everybody has problems with drugs or cigarettes or alcohol. There's all kinds of the reason why I, uh, my parents don't really watch Ray R movies is because of all the drugs, sex, alcohol, uh, violence, and, and all of that, uh, uh, stuff, and showing breasts in, in R rated movies. That's why I'm not able to see R rated movies and stuff. Some R rated movies even have rape, uh, stuff in it. Uh, I don't know. And that's why I don't even watch it with my mom. And the reason why my dad doesn't let me watch radar movies is because my mom doesn't want me to watch them. For some reason. I could handle them, though. I think I think I could. I'm a pretty badass uh, kid. And stuff. And I hope you will like my review on Captain America Civil War. And uh, hopefully the Black Panther movie will be good. Can't wait for the new Spider-Man movie and the sequel to uh, Ant-Man uh, as well. Ant-Man and the Wasp. They said that Emily Van Camp was in the movie. I didn't see her at all in this movie for some reason. I don't know. They probably showed her. I don't, I don't know. But, but the, the Paul Rudd uh, was Paul Rudd was Ant-Man again in the movie. He turned real giant in the movie. The real, but he turned real giant. That was pretty good, uh, pretty cool part, too. I don't know it was CGI at all, but... But that's how it is in the comics. That man does grow giant, so... And, uh... I, I, and, the uh, And Paul Rudd is the second Ant-Man, Scott Lang. The first Ant-Man is, uh... Um, played by Michael Douglas, uh... I don't know. But the, I, I thought Civil War was better than uh, Fantastic Four. It had better than Ant-Man. I, I can't believe they're rebooting uh, Fantastic Four uh, again uh, next year. Which is totally stupid and dumb. And I, and I usually watch uh, video game stuff on YouTube. But I'm watching Doom uh, today on YouTube. It's a Ghost Robo video, and he's still done it for like... It's like a two-hour and three-minute uh, video, I guess. I just wanted to do a little review here. Sorry if I uh, sound a little, little bit creepy in the video at some parts of it. Uh, no, I, I'm really a good kid. I, I really do love... Uh, the Lord, and I'm a good uh, Christian. And, uh, I, I feel that my prayers are being answered. Because I've been talking to a girl named, uh, Haley, uh, lately. Uh, and stuff, and I've been texting her a lot. And, uh, I, I, I guess I really liked her. Uh, and, and I hope she, she will like me, and I hope... She doesn't get all wigged out by this video uh, I put out here. And, uh... I'm really, uh... I really know I need to stop messing up 
Fortnite, uh, with the Foot Fetish thing. Because it's not right for me to do that. And, uh, and of course I, I like attractive women as well. And uh, I, I usually get a little shy and nervous around them. Uh, sometimes then. And I even had a crush on my uh, a neighbor uh, page, I think. And, uh, and uh, I, get, I just like, or just want, I just want girls to notice me and, and be my friend. And, and continue to still pray for the girlfriend uh, thing for me uh, as well. And uh, all my neighbors are uh, outside. I guess some people around here can hear me uh, making my videos and stuff. And uh, I'm wearing my uh, Bose uh, cancel noise cancellation headset. And was that that I wear that my dad bought me? I even bought Zach one for his birthday uh, last year. Even my dad has one, but his his are falling up apart. My dad needs to get it get it re refixed, prepared, and stuff. And uh, yes, I am still doing the. And all the Funko Pops I have are pretty badass. They're pretty cool and stuff. And uh, I am uh, and. Guys and girls, do you think I'm handsome? And do you think I'm... Uh, and do you like me? The other you know, questions I always ask, uh, joking around and stuff, and uh, I do the name card to joke around uh, as well. And, uh... And, uh... I hope you will enjoy my reviews on my movies that I go see. And hopefully I'll... I'll I'm still waiting to watch Dare, um, Deadpool. My dad says he's going to watch it, I think, when my mom's at home. And stuff like uh, like that. I know it's uh, rated R and has strip clubs and, and stuff like that in the movie. And it shows women's breasts in the movie as well. And it cusses a lot, uh, too, in the Deadpool movie. And Deadpool is, uh, the, uh, also a badass. Uh, and uh, I think Ryan Reynolds did a good job in this movie, made it. Uh, almost a billion dollars has made six hundred million. Something like, like six hundred nine million or something well, crazy. Like that, it made a boatload of money. Even though it was radar, it was the first uh, uh, radar superhero uh, movie for the first time ever. And it also was a revenge uh, movie as well. I never saw Deadpool, but I heard a lot of people said it was a good movie. And even my my good friend Andrew Flores and his dad. They really enjoyed the movie as well. So hopefully I'll watch it someday on my... My dad downloaded it from Yiffy. It's uh, BitTorrent movies and stuff. That's where we get our movies from and our TV shows are from. We use our Bit, the BitTorrent sites we use are... Uh, usually uh, Kick-Ass. And uh, what's the other one called? Uh, Easy TV is another one we use. And, and uh, Yiffy uh, Movies is... The other BitTorrent uh, site we use as well. Those are the three that we use. And my cousin Alex even tried to tell my dad about this website. Cody, we could, we could stream some brand new movies, TV shows, and all that. Uh, for free, uh, I guess. I don't know how it works or anything. I don't know how to look at those uh, BitTorrent websites because sometimes they have inappropriate uh, pictures with women in it. Uh, like naked pictures of, of women and stuff are, are on there. They have, like, advertisements for pornography on the uh, BitTorrent websites. Uh, I guess. And, uh, I'm having a pretty good day, and I'm, I'm hanging outside with my dad, and my dad's been a busy beaver uh, today, and he got the mail out of the mailbox, and he was talking to my neighbor, uh, Charlie, uh, next door. Their last name is, uh, Roni, uh, or something like that. And then uh, he has a wife named, uh, Shelly, and a daughter named, uh, Paige, and a son, he has a son and daughter. And his granddaughter's, I mean, his grandson's name is, uh, Jack's from, 
um, Sons of Anarchy uh, TV show, and uh, I'm not even, I'm not allowed to even watch M rated TV for TVMA uh, shows either or rated R TV shows or any of that because of the sex stuff, and uh, I just wanted to share my review of the movie. And, It was just a really good movie. I really did enjoy it. And they, they did defeat the bad guy. The bad guy tried to kill himself. And the, and the bad guy tried to kill himself at the in Civil War, but Black Panther uh, stopped him from from that. Uh, and, uh, and the actor who played... Uh, Black Panther was a pretty good actor. The acting skills, the story was good. It, the character development, and there, there, there's a lot of character development in that, in that movie. It was kind of a crime drama uh, movie, a little bit too. It had Sharon Carter, Agent 13, uh, in the movie. And she did a pretty good job too. She was the love interest of Captain America, I guess. And, uh, uh, Peggy Carter from the show Agent Carter died uh, in the movie. She had, they had a funeral uh, part for uh, her as well. And I know the story of the movie. And the movie is and, uh, yeah, it's so what if I'm spoiling the movie? If you've seen the movie, watch this video. If you have not uh, seen the movie, don't watch this video. And I will put in the title Captain America Movie Review uh, Spoilers. That's my title of my uh, video here. Guys and girls. I love to say guys and girls. I know, Ghost Robo says guys and girls as well. And I like to use his lights in my videos at the end of the videos. And, uh... And I also like to share my daily thoughts uh, here and, and there uh, with you guys. And I just like to share my daily things in my life. And uh, I tend to gossip about others uh, in the past, but I'm trying not to do that anymore either. Please pray for me to not gossip. It's old grudges, be stingy, selfish, greedy, prideful, and stubborn and impatient, it's argumentative at, at all. And, uh, that and, and please pray for my parents as well. And please pray for me and pray for uncles, aunts, cousins, nieces, and nephews, and everybody my uh uh, like especially my, my Uncle John and Uncle Jimmy and Aunt Khalid and Uncle Mike and Uncle Jerry and both Uncle Roberts and Uncle Cornell and Uncle Bud and Uncle Danny and uh, uh, Auntie Rosie and Uncle Ma uh, Uncle, um, Uncle Manny and uh, also for Aunt Susie and Susie's daughter and, and ex-husband and Aunt Mary and her ex-husband and Aunt Susan and Uncle Wayne and Aunt Susan's uh, ex-husband and Uncle Mike's uh, ex-girlfriend and ex-wives and uh, his daughter, cousin Madison, and his son, Michael James. And uh, all those people uh, that I pray for. And also for cousin Donna and her husband. And uh, children and cousin Laura and her husband and uh, children. And cousin Kara and her husband and children. And... Cousin Nico and his uh, wife and son, and cousin Kyle and his girlfriend, and cousin Chloe and cousin, I mean, um, Uncle Julian and Auntie Lauren, and Auntie Fabi and her second husband, uh, Tim, and uh, also for Uncle Bud as well, and all these people that I uh, I like to pray for uh, every night, and uh, and please pray for them too as well. And uh, also for cousin Alex and his girlfriend Leve, and cousin Eric and cousin Josh Stodescu, and uh, cousin Julia and Uncle Paul and Auntie Sandra, and cousin Cody and Uncle John's son John Ryan, and uh, his daughter Chrissy and Chrissy's daughter uh, Kelsey and her and Chrissy's son and husband uh, as well and. 
all these people that I always pray for. And, uh, this is Uncle John's first ex-wife, Jackie, and his second ex-wife, uh, Gina, and Uncle Jimmy's first ex-wife, uh, as well, and Cousin Hunter, and Cousin Chris and his wife and son, and even my friend Mark Frendo, and Stephen Frendo, and Jonathan Frendo, and his wife, Hannah Frendo, and their daughter, and everybody I can think of, and the Flores family, and Andrew Flores, and Josh Flores, and Parker Kegley. And Zach Gray, Lisa Harlow, and Suzanne Harlow, and Ryan Harlow, and Matt Harlow, and Ron, and uh, Sean McQuaid, and his uh, girlfriend, and Sean Olishik, and his girlfriend, Quinn Barraza, and Josh Morris, and his fiance, Alyssa Burker, and uh, Danielle Gonzalez, and Hadley Garcia, and Eric Asada, and Eric Simpson, and Eric Robinson, and Ryan Hacker, and Ryan uh, Wilkie. And all these people that I was friends with, too. Please pray, pray for them as well. And for my friend Logan Machel and Logan Altman as well. And even uh, Haley Shoffit and uh, Dylan Birch and uh, and uh, Kevin Ringette. And also for Ali Spain as well. And for Brad Ringette and Nick Porter. And my cousin Andrew Safari as well. And Auntie Anka and Uncle Lee as well. And for everybody that I pray for, to pray for everybody who's up to having anger issues and everybody to get along uh, with, with each other as well. Just pray for all the things that I need prayer for. That's my prayer requests are, are for. Please, please constantly pray for that for me. Uh, please and uh, pray for everybody to quit smoking and doing drugs. And alcohol. And, uh, for the ones that don't do that stuff, just stay away from it. And, uh, and, uh, ho hopefully my best friend Zach will bring me a beer to drink. Uh, and, uh, hopefully my best friend will watch this video too. And, uh, I gotta go. Uh, that's all I wanted to. But mostly this is a movie review. Uh, uh, actually, and, uh, it's a pretty long video. But uh, I just wanted to mention their boy's name. My dad's side of the family is the Lee family. And my mom's side of the family is the Nescu, uh, family. My dad's side of the family is from Boston. But now some of them live in Florida, and some of them live in Sparsto. And mommy's side of the family lives in California. And, and some live in Vegas. And, uh, and my mom's side of the family is from Romania uh, as well. And they also lived in Italy and uh, stuff like that. And my mom uh, has been a farm kind of girl. She was baptized as a baby like I was when I was a baby. And yeah, and yeah, so what if I'm saying this? I'm saying all this stuff because I want people to pray uh, about it. Uh, and uh, I don't want people to die or get sick uh, from bad things in the, in the world. And, and I always want people to pray for me to protect our minds, body, heart, soul, and spirit from the demons and the devil. And thank you for, and, uh, to say thank you for dying on the cross for us, as we're using. Thank you for everyone, bless everyone that you provided and everything that you provide for us. And to remember that the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all. Uh, sin. And, uh, also to... Man, uh, overcome our struggles in life. And to be better people and to repent and be saved as well. I want everybody Christian and, and to wait for the Lord's return and be in heaven and have eternal life like me. Like I will. And hopefully I'll continue to have my Bible studies. My, uh, pretty cool, uh, Bible studies every Monday night at 8 o'clock at, at my house. So I'm always wanting guys and girls to join. Uh, please pr pray for more people, for guys and girls, to join my Bible study. Please pray for more people to, to come to my Bible study with me. And pray for me to have healing as well. 
And uh, I, I gotta go now, so I hope you enjoyed my babbling on about a bunch of stuff. But please rate, like, favorite, subscribe, comment, like, uh, views, thoughts, and opinions. And I hope you liked it and enjoyed it for your viewing pleasure, guys and girls. And stay tuned for more as well. Uh, guys and girls, and, and like Ghost Robo says, please drink some hot chocolate. And I'll see you all later. And this is Aaron Halo 18. Uh, signing off. Goodbye.